Hi everyone, hi. This is Tara coming to you live from Lotus Petal. I am going to be starting with you very shortly here. We're going to get started and we're going to be doing our lovely stretch in our new class today. If you want to grab some props ahead of time, that would be awesome. So props that you may like to have with you today is perhaps a folded blanket or perhaps a chip block if you have one. Something that just helps you just sit up a little tiny bit on your mat to be able to rotate your hips forward. If you would like to grab any of these blocks, that's awesome, or any other books or something that can prop you up as well. If you want a bolster or a cushion from your couch, that is a great option to grab too. If you would like an eye cover at the end of your class, just a simple face cloth is awesome for that too if you want to grab that before we get started. And perhaps, only perhaps if you want, you can also grab just something that would be nice to put underneath your knees if you like at any point during your class. And again, even just to fold the towel is really great for that too. All right, so we'll get started in just a second if you wanna go grab your props and then we'll get going. in our child's pose. Just feeling that opening through the hips, let's scoop in, grab that front foot, bring the opposite foot forward here for a moment. Just kind of wiggle through those hips, allowing them to open here. First thing, take a nice deep breath in. On the exhalation, start to walk your hands all the way forward here, really spreading your fingertips nice and wide as you start to rotate forward. Just take out any props that you may have been using and slowly and gently make your way down here to a child's pose, taking those knees nice and wide and starting to sink your bum back towards your heels. Now, if you need any sort of extra props in front of you here for your head to get your head down towards the earth, you can use those as well. We're gonna nice and gently here, start to walk our hands all the way forward and gently bring that head down towards the earth here. Start to roll those shoulders deep into the back and start to walk your hands to the sides of your body in our first variation of child pose here. Taking a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. I'm gonna get you to really work on rolling those shoulders deeper into the back here and doing your best to get your bum as close to your heels as possible. Taking a moment here to arrive on your mat, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation here, perhaps rocking a little side to side to really help open up those hips even further. Let's inhale, walk those hands up overhead, roll the shoulders deep into the body. Take another deep breath in here. On the exhalation here, slowly and gently start to walk your hands all the way over to the right. Doing your best now to bring your head back down towards the earth here, towards that knee, stretching it out here. You should feel this pull through the entire side body. If you do not feel anything, you need to walk those hands over a little tiny bit more. You bring your head down towards the earth here. Take a deep breath in, feeling that expansion here through your side body, opening up into your obliques. Slowly and gently start to walk those hands back to center. Pausing here for a moment, arms up overhead. Anytime the arms are up overhead, it's a little bit more cardiovascular. Your heart's working a little harder to get that blood pumping to your hands. Take a deep breath in. 
And on the exhalation, start to walk those hands all the way over to the opposite side, bringing your head down towards your knee on the opposite side. So moving over to the left this time, keeping your heels and bum connected if possible. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then slowly and gently start to walk those hands back to center. Perhaps take your knees even wider here as you start to lower even further down towards the earth. Rolling those shoulders deep into the back. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation here, slowly and gently, starting to rise yourself up. Start to take your hands out in front of you here and slowly and gently come into that tabletop position. Tabletop position, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck our toes under and we're going to slowly and gently start to walk our fingertips back towards those knees and slowly and gently start to float your weight now back towards those heels toes tucked under here. Let's distract ourselves from those toes and inhale our arms up overhead. And then the exhalation here, let's take that right arm and see if you can wrap it right around the left. Now if this is not possible, taking your hands just to your shoulders is just as good, just pushing those shoulders down. Be sure that the navel is pressing to the spine here. If you have your arms in eagle, let's lift up those elbows, but roll the shoulders down the back. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel that opening through the shoulder girdle. Inhale. On the exhalation, let's unravel those arms. Shoot those hands up overhead. And then slowly and gently exhale. Bring your hands down towards the mat. Bring your weight off of those toes, untuck those toes, and pulse out those feet. Nice job opening up through the feet here. Tuck your toes under, and slowly touch your bow. Take your weight back again towards those heels. Nice and gentle, start to walk your hands up into the body. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, pushing them down the back. Let's inhale those arms up overhead. Identifying your left from your right. Now we're going to take that left arm, wrap it around the right here. Again, if this is too much for you, taking your hands to your shoulders is just as awesome. Do your best to tap that tailbone back under here. Lift up those elbows and roll those shoulders deeper into the back. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out as we wake up those feet. Inhale. And on the exhalation, unravel those arms. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, float those hands out in front. Untuck those toes and pulse out those feet. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Checking in now that your hands are directly below your shoulders and that your knees are directly below your hips. We're going to gently drop our tummy down towards the earth. Roll those shoulders deep into the back, arching the spine, look up to the sky here as we open up here through our thyroid gland. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation here, you're going to arch through that spine, really pulling the navel towards your spine. Take your gaze towards your navel. Inhale, drop your tummy down, look up towards the sky. Exhale, arch that spine, look towards your navel, roll the eyes of the elbows in towards each other. Inhale here for cow pose. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. On the exhalation, coming into that neutral tabletop position, slowly and gently cross your ankles over. And nice and gentle, start to roll yourself all the way back, coming into a nice, easy seated position. Easy seated position, feel free to untuck anything stuck underneath your bum, and then slowly and gently start to float your hands to your knees, bringing those eyes gently to close for a few breaths here as we open 
our class, our beautiful stretch and renew. We're going to inhale, roll those shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. Inhale, roll those shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. One more time, inhale, roll those shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. Rooting down through those sit bones, we're rising up through the crown of the head, tap the chin into the chest ever so slightly. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Let's exhale it twice as long through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale twice as long through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale it twice as long through the mouth. And then gently floating that mouth to closed. Starting to bring that breath evenly in and out through the nose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Allowing that breath to amalgamate, to merge the length of your inhalation, seamlessly matching the length of your exhalation. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then on the start of the next breath, starting to incorporate that ujjayi breath. Breathe now from the back of the throat, creating that ha sound. That sound of the ocean tide. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Using this deep, audible breath throughout your practice is going to help you better achieve your poses by bringing fresh, warm air, warm blood to your muscles. Take another deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then on the start of your next breath, if you'd like to set an intention for your class, here's a lovely time to do so. An intention can be whatever you like it to be. Perhaps today it's a dedication to someone. Perhaps it's a goal you would like to achieve. Or perhaps it's something you'd like to let go of. Something that no longer serves you. Whatever this intention may be, bring it now to the forefront of your mind and focus in on it. See that intention in the here and in the now already achieved in your life. Placing your goals into the future always leaves them just out of grasp. So be sure those things you intend most, those things you want most in your life are already seen in your third eye, already achieved in your life. Take another deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then gently flipping those palms down towards the earth. Give those knees a little bit of a rub to stimulate into that nervous system. And gently open those eyes. Inhaling here, rocking forward from your pelvis. Let's take ourselves three times to the right to open up that lower lumbar spine. And then gently here, pausing at center. Let's go the opposite direction. Giant deep breaths in. And deep breaths out. And then nice and slowly here, pausing here at center. We're going to inhale our arms up overhead. Exhale, float those fingertips all the way out in front of you here. Land those hands down onto the mat. Press all sides of your hands into the mat. 
as you gently rise yourself up into that tabletop position. Tabletop position, nice and gentle. Roll the eyes of the abdomen towards each other. Press firmly through your palms. Tuck your toes under. Roll your weight back towards those heels. And then gently rock yourself forward. Nice and gentle, rolling the eyes of the elbows in towards each other. Rock yourself back. And then push yourself gently forward. One more time, rock your way back, toes tucked under. Gently start to drop that head down here and perhaps rock that head here side. Decide as you start to release through those trap and deltoid muscles. And then nice and gentle, rippling yourself forward. Untuck those toes. Take those knees nice and wide. One more time, sink yourself all the way back into your variation of child's pose. Arms can be up overhead or arms can come to the sides of the body here, whichever you prefer. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, sinking down into that child's pose. Inhale, and exhale here. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. And then nice and gentle, if you have your arms beside the body, let's lift them up overhead. Nice and gentle, rising yourself up. Let's take those knees and start to sandwich them together. Take your toes, sandwich them together, and walk your hands up your mat, coming into a supported plank position. Roll those shoulders deep into the back. Navel is pressing to the spine here. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation, rocking your weight over into that left hand, let's start to slide our right forearm to the earth and start to rock our hips and knees over to the side. Now nice and gentle here, lots of options with your hand. You can keep your fingertips tented out in front of you. You can take your hand to your hip here. Now, if it is a lot to keep this hip up, you can always drop that hip down to the earth, but do your best, if you can here, to keep that hip lifted. Be sure your shoulder and elbow are in line here, nice and gentle, staying right here. Or if you like, you can start to reach back and see if you can catch that top foot and start to pull the top foot into the body. Becoming very active in this stretch here. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, if that hip is raised, start to lower it to the earth. Start to grab for that ankle in there and support the foot over the body. And then nice and gentle here, taking your left hand slowly press it in towards the knee and start to come out onto the edge of that front foot. Nice and gentle, pushing that leg away. You can straighten that back leg if you like. And what we're going to do is we're gonna rotate here from our hips, turn our shoulders and gaze towards the top of the room. Still pushing back with that knee, feeling that opening here through the hip flexor here. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Opening up here through the core as well. Inhale. And exhale here. One more beautiful breath just like this. And then nice and gentle, start to rock your shoulders to center. Start to gently plant that foot down onto the mat. Start to take your arm, bring that forearm to meet as you gently slide your knees in line with each other here, rolling the shoulders deep into the back. Place your hands down onto the mat and start to rise those hips up as you start to walk the knees into the body. Taking your hands now, clasping them if you like, drop those forearms down, 
sink your weight back here, bum going towards the back of the room, start to drop your head back here, coming into a variation of puppy dog pose. Feel that opening through the shoulders here as you roll back here. Feel that pull here, nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Sink your bum closer towards those heels as you feel that extension through the shoulders here. And then nice and gentle, start to rock yourself forward. Take your hands again to the mat. Nice and gentle here. I'm going to switch sides so we can see. We're going to slowly and gently here start to walk those knees back on the mat. Take those knees together, sandwich your toes and start to roll yourself forward into that supported plank position. Be sure the navel is pressing here to the spine. Nice in the back here. Roll those shoulders down the back. Take a deep breath in. And then slowly and gently what you're going to do here is you're going to take the opposite forearm to the earth. And slowly and gently start to bump your opposite side over. Nice and gentle here, being sure that your shoulder is in line with that elbow here. Again, this is very active, so if you're finding that this is hard to hold, you can always jump that hip back down to the earth. You can keep your fingertips in front, hand can come to the hip, or if you would like to try to go further, you can reach back. See if you can lift that top leg and start to pull the foot in towards the body here. Remaining active or bringing yourself down, whichever works for you. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Doing your best to pull your heel in towards your bum. Inhale and exhale. One more glorious breath just like this. And then slowly and gently pumping those hips back to the earth. Let's take that foot across the body. Now nice and gentle here, we're going to start to roll out onto the side of that foot here in the front. And then nice and gentle, take your hand to that knee and start to push that knee back. Option to straighten that bottom leg if you like. Flex those toes. And then slowly and gently here, start to rotate your shoulders to center. Feeling that extreme pull now through the body, opening up through the leg as well. Opening up to that shoulder girdle, take a deep breath in, releasing anything out in that lower lumbar spine. Inhale and exhale, gentle pressure on that knee to push it back. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back. One more breath. And then nice and gentle, start to roll yourself back to center. Start to take that foot to the earth and gently start to slide your opposite arm, this arm in the sky, to the earth as you rotate over. Take those knees to meet. Knees to meet slowly and gently. Start to land those hips ever so gently to the earth and start to take your hands to the earth. Roll the shoulders deep into the back, coming into Sphinx Pose. Sphinx Pose, being sure that those toes are touching with the shoulders or rolling down the back. You can keep your head in neutral position or you can turn your gaze to the sky if that is safe for your neck. Tilting the chin to the sky, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bringing your head back to center gently here. You're going to start to turn your gaze over that right shoulder. Starting to look towards your toes here. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out, feeling that opening in the thorax spine as well. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly and gently turning that head to center. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back. And then start to turn your gaze over the opposite shoulder. Opening up here through the neck as well. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And then nice and gentle, rolling yourself to center. Option to stay right here, or you can start to walk your fingertips into your body. Perhaps by a little bit more opening here as we inhale, roll the shoulders up, and exhale, push them down. Turning your gaze to the sky if 
that is in your practice, inhale. And then on the exhalation, slowly and gently start to lower everything down to the earth. Take your hands out in front of you here. Place your right cheek on your hands as you roll your head to this side. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. And then the exhalation, turning your head the opposite direction. Letting your body melt down into the mat. Inhale. And exhale here. And then gently starting to bring that chin to center. Start to lift up through that head. Start to take your arms, shoot them out in front. And then gently start to sweep them behind you here. You start to lift up through that chest. Nice and gentle. See if you can clasp both hands behind your back and lift up even further. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhalation, see if you can start to lift those feet off of the mat, flexing those feet, spreading your feet to either side of your mat. Inhale. And on the exhalation, if it is safe for your neck, you can start to turn your gaze towards the sides and push those hands further back. And then gently start to lower the feet to the mat. Gently bring your head to neutral position. Gently let that right cheek melt towards the earth. Release your clasp. Let your hands float to the sides of your body. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in. And on the exhalation, rotating your chin to center. Lifting up with those arms, second set, start to lift your chest, clasping now opposite direction to your last class. Slowly and gently start to lift up with that chin and chest. Slowly and gently start to lift those feet up, flex those feet, spread your yogi toes, inhale. And then exhale, open up a little bit more, perhaps turning your chin to the sky. Use your breath, open up. And then slowly start to lower the legs down. Slowly turning your head left cheek to the mat. Release that clasp. Arms come here to the sides of the body. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation, rolling your chin to center. Sweep. Those hands to the sides of your body, framing your rib cage. Start to roll yourself back. Tuck your toes under. Push yourself up. Take those knees nice and wide. Sink yourself all the way back. Child's pose. Breathe in. And breathe out. Giant deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, slowly and gently start to ripple yourself forward. Take your knees to the mat. Taking your hands now, bringing them directly below your shoulders. Tuck your toes under and start to rock your way back towards those heels. Walking your fingertips in towards your knees. Start to lift those knees off of the mat and start to roll your heels down towards the earth as you walk those fingertips closer in towards your feet. Take a deep breath in here. Heels are still lifted. And then nice and gentle here. Let's start to press really firmly into those finger mounds as we start to rise ourselves up. Start to plant those feet down into the mat, keeping as much of the bend in those knees as you need. Take a deep breath in. On um, the exhalation here, again, if you need props here, perhaps a block, perhaps books, you can always use those if necessary. You can start to walk your hands or your hands with a prop over to the right here, feeling that extreme pull here through the backs of the legs. Keep that head down. No tension in that neck whatsoever. Inhale. And on the exhalation, start to walk those fingertips forward. Slowly and gently start to walk yourself over the opposite direction, feeling that opening in the side body. Inhale. 
And on the exhalation here, slowly start to walk yourself back to center. Keeping as much of a bend in those knees as you need. We're going to inhale here. Halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, take your head down towards your knees. Inhale, rise those arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Hands come to the side of the body to dasana. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation, we're going to fly those arms up overhead. Float all the way forward. Inhale here, halfway lift. Exhale, walk those fingertips all the way to the front of your mat until you can plant them down. Option, of course, to drop those knees to the mat. We're going to keep those elbows tight to the body and lower ourselves down to the mat for the count of five, four, three, two, and one. Top of the feet on the mat, roll those shoulders down the back. Forehead comes to the mat. We're going to inhale, come on up. Baby Cobra. Exhale, head comes to the mat. Inhale, come on up. Baby Cobra. Exhale, head comes down to the mat. Inhale, rise up. Baby Cobra. Exhale, tuck those toes. Push yourself up to those knees. Roll yourself back. Start to walk those fingertips all the way in towards your knees. Roll those shoulders down into that finger mounds into the mat. Press into them. Start to lift those knees off of the mat. Slowly and gently start to walk your fingertips further back here. Rolling those shoulders deeper into that. Pressing firmly through those fingertips. Start to land the heels to the mat as we start to rise our bum towards the sky. Inhale here, halfway lift, hands come to the shins, flat back. Exhale, bring your head towards your knees, hands come to the back of the legs. Inhale, rise the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands float to heart center. Hands float to the side of the body, mountain pose, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back. Inhale. And the exhalation, fly those arms up overhead. Float all the way forward. Inhale here, halfway lift. Exhale, finger mounds come to the mat. Walk your fingertips all the way forward until you can plant your hands down. Plank position, roll those shoulders deeper into the back, navel pressing to the spine, option to take those knees to the mat. We're going to lower ourselves down to the mat for the count of five, four, three, two, and one. Top of the feet on the mat, roll those shoulders into the back, take your forehead to the mat, frame your rib cage. inhale, come on up, baby cobra. Exhale, head come down to the mat. Inhale, rise it up, baby cobra. Exhale, head come down to the mat. Inhale, rise it up, baby cobra. Exhale, push yourself back. Come to those knees, walk the hands into the body a little tiny bit. Tuck those toes under. Rise yourself all the way up. And back into your very first downward dog of the day. Paddle those heels here up and down. And lightly and gently shake that head here. Yes and no. Come up high onto those toes. And then sink your heels towards the earth. Come up high onto your toes. And then sink your heels towards the earth. One more time, high onto those toes. And then sinking your heels here towards the earth. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, knees come nice and wide. Float 
your feet towards the mat. Take yourself all the way down. Child's pose. Take a deep breath in. Then a deep breath out. Rock your weight closer towards those heels. Inhale. And then on the exhalation, slowly and gently start to rise yourself all the way up. Press into those palms. Tuck those toes. Take yourself all the way up. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And then slowly roll your weight over to that left foot as you raise your right foot to the sky. Keep those hips square to the mat below you here. Take a deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation, place that foot down on the mat. Pedal your heels up and down. Nice and slow here. Take that opposite foot to the sky here. Really roll the eyes of the elbows in towards each other. Take a deep breath in. Flex those yogi toes. Inhale. And on the exhalation, place that foot down on the mat and pedal your heels up and down. Take those knees nice and wide. Sink yourself back. Child's pose. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Ripple yourself forward. Press into those palms. Tuck those toes. Rise yourself up. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Lift that right foot to the sky. And then hinging here at the knee, bring your foot towards your bum cheek and then slowly rotate the hip towards the side of the room here so that we're opening up that side body. Take a deep breath in. Slowly rotate the hips back to center. Extend that foot out. Place the foot down on the mat and pedal your heels up and down. Nice and gentle, extend the opposite foot here to the side, flex that foot, roll the shoulders into the body, gently hinge here at the knee, slowly open that hip out to the side here, opening up here, take a deep breath in, exhale, rotate the hips back to center, extend that leg out, place that foot down on that, paddle those heels up and down, take those knees nice and wide, sink yourself back, into that child's pose. Nice giant deep breath in. And deep breath out using that breath. Inhale. And on the exhalation, rolling yourself forward, tucking those toes under, rising yourself up, downward facing dog. Let's take that right hand and float it to your left ankle, calf muscle, or thigh. Knowing that the ankle is the most challenging selecting whichever variation works best for you as we start to turn that gaze underneath your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out here as we open up that whole side body using our core strength for stability. Rock that hand back to center. And then nice and gentle. I'm going to switch sides so I can still see you. We're going to slowly and gently roll our weight into that right hand and see if you can take that left hand to your opposite ankle calf muscle or thigh, knowing of course that the ankle is the most challenging, turning your gaze underneath that armpit, opening up that side body, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, inhale, and then the exhalation, rotating yourself back to center here, let's bend into those knees, and then shoot those hips to the sky, bend into those knees, and then shoot those hips up to the sky, land those heels if you can. Inhale, high into those toes, bend into those knees. Rise yourself all the way up. Pausing here for five beautiful breaths in your downward dog. If you choose child's pose instead here, honor that. Work with whatever works best for you. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, and exhale. Two more glorious breaths, either in your child's pose or your downward dog. And then slowly and gently here, if 
You are in child's pose. Let's start to rise yourself up into that downward dog. Downward dog, what we're going to do is we're going to roll our weight into that left side, lift up that right foot to the sky. Now nice and gentle, looking up to those hands here at the top of the mat. We're going to start to pull that knee in towards those hands. As you rock yourself forward, you're going to place that knee in between the hands. And you're going to start to slide that back leg behind you. Here is really great. If you find that your hip is really high from the earth here, you can grab for one of those yoga blocks or books, whichever you prefer, and place it underneath your bum here so that it's keeping your hips in line with each other. I'll show you from this side angle as well. So, if you're finding that when you shoot that leg back, this hip is so high, take that block, place it underneath. You are awesome right here. If you find that you can take your hips easily to the earth, then that's fabulous too. Whichever you prefer, whatever works well with you here. Now, often here, we do is we don't check behind us to make sure that that leg is straight. So, finger mounts to the mat here. Look behind you here. Is that leg straight behind you? If so, amazing. If not, do any adjustments. We're going to inhale, roll our shoulders up towards our ears, and then exhale, push them down the back. Now, up to you. Lots of variations of what you can do here with that front foot. You can keep that foot really tightly tucked into your body. That is awesome. But if you would like a further stretch here, what you're going to do is you're going to take that leg and bring it forward here, making sure that it is flush to the top of your mat. Now again, if this is too much, doesn't feel right, then tuck it into whichever degree works for you. Perhaps halfway is where you're at today. Whatever works. And then slowly and gently here, again, fingertips to the mat. A lot of the times when we go into sleeping swan, we forget this step altogether. And it's so important to open up to do that through that thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is what's controlling your metabolism, really revving through it. So we always want to make sure that we open that first. So taking your fingertips towards that front leg, roll the shoulders deep into the back and start to turn your chin up towards the sky, really opening up here through that thyroid gland. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out here in pigeon pose. And then from here, slowly and gently rolling your chin to center. We're going to walk those fingertips all the way forward here. Now again, if it is easier and more accessible for you to take a block or to take any other prop and bring your head towards that prop, that is awesome. Amazing. But if you prefer to take your head to the earth, that is fine as well. Whichever works here for you. If you're like, you know what, there is no way I'm doing that. I can bring you into figure four pose instead. Pigeons or sleeping swans, stay where you are. People that would like to come into figure four, I'm going to walk you through that now. Figure four people, exactly the same stretch, just a different way to come into it. You are rolling your back to the mat. Tucking that tailbone and your navel is pressing into the spine. Tuck your chin into your chest here. Roll the shoulders deeper into the back. And then slowly start to walk that right foot into the body a little tiny bit. So it's about hands distance away from your sit bones. And then nice and gentle start to extend that left foot to this guy. And roll that foot over the body. Squaring your hips now, creating a number four. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to shoot your hands through that hole and start to pull the leg into the body, clasping the hands behind the back here. Very important that you keep this foot flexed here so that you're protecting your knee. You can flex the opposite foot too, just to keep it in mind so that you're flexing your feet always. You can start to take your elbow here and start to push that leg back as you start to pull the legs into the body. Nice deep breaths in. And deep breaths out wherever you are at, figure four or pigeon pose. We are holding to really get into those hip flexors. Now, if you find that emotions are coming up here, that's okay. Breathe through it. We hold a lot of junk in our hips, a lot of emotional baggage. So, if stuff is coming up, it's okay. Let it go. Breathe through it. Give yourself permission to say, I'm not holding on to this anymore. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. So we have about another minute here. So 
If you are in Sleeping Swan and you'd like to open up maybe a little tiny bit into your shoulders here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open yourself up through the chest. You're gonna press your weight into that right arm and you're gonna fold your left arm through your body. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop that shoulder down towards the mat. Take your opposite hand, take your peace fingers here, so I am eating my hair, and then slowly and gently see if you can rotate here and catch your toe on the opposite side to really open all the way up. I'm gonna show you from the side as well so you can see what that looks like. Nice deep breaths in and out again. What you're doing is you're taking your left arm, dropping it down, shoulder to the earth. Right arm floats over, peace fingers here. See if you can hook that toe. If you're like, yeah, right toe, that's not gonna happen. Even just taking your hand over the body here is lovely. This is an amazing, great way to open up through those shoulders. When I used to work and live in Nevis, we had a lot of golfers and tennis players, and that one was amazing for opening up through those shoulders. Here, we do a lot of work on our computers. So really opening up those shoulders is a really nice option here too. But again, just an option. You can stay right in your sleeping swan. We only have a few more seconds because I've done so much talking. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out wherever you are at. If you are in that arm variation, slowly and gently release. And start to bring yourself back to center. Those of us in figure four, place your feet down on the mat and windshield wiper your legs side to side. Those of us in pigeon or sleeping swan, start to walk your fingertips in towards your body. Press into those palms, tuck that back toe under, start to slide that leg out and slowly start to pedal those heels up and down. Those of us in figure four, let's switch sides here. Those of us coming into pigeon on the opposite side, you are floating that opposite foot to the sky. Looking up to those hands, you're gonna pull that knee all the way through. And then gently sliding that leg, remember, slide it straight behind you, check back that it is straight. Again, if you need that prop for your hip, go for it. If you don't, no problem. Again, selecting here, do you want that foot close to your body? Do you want it halfway? Or do you want it all the way up? Just selecting whichever degree works best for you. Now again, before we forget, fingertips to the mat, roll the shoulders deep into the back, open up through that thyroid gland by turning your gaze to the sky. And then from here, hinging from the hips, start to walk yourself all the way forward. Bringing your head either down to a block or down to the earth, pausing here. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale, and exhale here, checking in with that jaw. Is it tight? And if so, can you let it go? Noticing that relationship, that correlation between tight jaw and tight shoulders. When you release that jaw, the shoulders melt further down into the back. Releasing through the shoulders is going to give you more give through those hips. Inhale. And exhale, knowing that there's lots of stuff stuck there. Breathing through it wherever you're at. Figure four, pulling that leg deeper into the body, pushing the knee further away. Make sure both feet are flexed. Inhale. And exhale. Those of us that maybe would like a little tiny bit more of a shoulder opener here in our sleeping swan or pigeon pose, you're gonna rise yourself a little bit further up. And now taking the right arm instead, you're gonna fold it through the body. And then gently you're gonna lower that shoulder to the earth. You're gonna take your opposite hand, peace fingers, reach over and hook that big toe on the opposite side. Really feeling that pull now further into your glutes and through the shoulder girdle here. Really opening up all the muscles over your scapula and sternum. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Opening up. Lots of breath. And then if you are in that arm variation, slowly and gently, start to rotate yourself back to center. 
those of us in any sort of figure four, drop both feet lightly to the mat, windshield wiper those legs side to side. Otherwise, those of us in pigeon pose, fingertips coming to the mat, flatten your hand down, tuck your toes under, rise yourself up into that downward dog and paddle those heels here up and down, breath even in and out through the nose, come up high onto those toes, and then sink your heels towards the earth. One more time, high onto those toes, and then sinking your heels towards the earth here, quick crack of the anything stuck in, then out slowly and gently lower the knees to the mat. Nice and gentle, cross your ankles over, and slowly bring yourself into a seated position. Seated position, let's take those legs all the way out in front of us here and give them a little bit of a shake. Roll the shoulders deep into the back and let your fingertips point towards the back of the room and start to roll those ankles over. And then start to take it the opposite direction. And then nice and gentle here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to pull that right foot into the body and place that foot into the inner thigh here. And then nice and gentle, you're going to take that right hand and place it at your lower lumbar spine. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to point that left toe. It's one of the only postures in yoga where we do do a lot of pointing of the toe. We're going to point that toe. And then we're going to slowly and gently start to roll our hips towards the front here as we push that leg out a little tiny bit more. And then nice and gentle here, squaring the hips to your front knee. We're gonna raise that opposite arm, keeping a little bit of a bend in that right arm. So left arm reaching up overhead. We're gonna to reach towards the side of the room. You can turn your head to gaze towards that hand if that works for you. Now you can stay right here. Or if you would like more of a stretch to come up into full stargazer pose, you can start to press into that lower palm, lift yourself up onto that knee, and reach towards the side of the room. Nice, deep breath in. And deep breath out here, I love this one. Inhale. And exhale, reaching two different directions, feeling that entire opening. Inhale. And on the exhalation, gently start to lower it all the way down. Start to raise that knee into the body, start to cross that leg over the body. Start to take your hands to center, start to roll those shoulders deeper into the back. Push those shoulders down. Now, option to stay here, or if it is in your practice to fold that lower leg in, you can, but only an option. Nice, deep breath in. And then exhale, taking your right hand to that lower part of the knee, left arm floats to the sky, roll that shoulder and elbow over, and start to now float your right hand to your lower lumbar spine as you start to twist here, squeezing out those organs, so amazing for our system. Start to turn your gaze over that back shoulder. Squeeze in here, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, not turning the neck though any further than what feels good for you. Inhale. On the exhalation, slowly and gently rotate yourself all the way back to center. Sit up nice and straight through that back. Shoot your fingertips all the way out in front and then slowly guide those hands over the opposite direction as you rotate yourself all the way down towards the earth, quick cracking anything stuck in that spine out. Slowly rise yourself up. Slowly bring yourself to center. And gently take that leg, extend it all the way out, and give those legs a little tiny bit of a shake. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to take that left leg, support it here as you pull the foot in towards that thigh. Nice and gentle here, taking your hand, take it to that lower lumbar spine, and start to push your opposite leg a little bit away from you as you start to point that toe. Nice and gentle, you're gonna fly that arm up overhead, turning your gaze towards that arm if that is safe for your neck. Now again, staying right here, this is beautiful, absolutely amazing stretch or if you would like to take it further, you can start to come up onto that leg, extending that arm even further here, coming into full song, or song, not songbird, stargazer pose. Take a deep breath in, reach here, really extend, nice deep breath in. And on the exhalation here, slowly and gently, 
start to land yourself down. Start to fold that knee into the body. Start to flex that opposite foot. Roll those shoulders deep into the back. Start to lift up that foot. Cross it over the body and sit up nice and straight. Now let's take that opposite arm to the sky, hook it over, and then gently take your opposite arm to your lower lumbar spine as we start to twist towards the back of our arm. Nice deep breath in, and deep breath out, really squeezing out those organs, letting go. Again, if it was in your practice to fold the leg in, you can, that lower leg, options, whatever you like. One more breath here. And then slowly and gently rotating yourself to center. So you have nice and straight through that back. Shoot those fingertips all the way in front of you here. And start to guide them all the way behind you, opposite direction, cracking anything out as you lower yourself gently towards the earth. And then gently push yourself up. Slowly and gently rotating back to center. Take one foot to the side of the mat. Scoop up the underneath the opposite knee, bring it to the mat. Fingertips float to the back of the room. Let's windshield wipe with those legs side to side. Beautiful deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And then slowly and gently scooping up whichever you may like prop wise for your final resting pose. You might like to take a cover over your eyes. You might like to take a bolster or a cushion and place it under your knees. Whichever you like for your final resting pose, however you feel it is best. Be sure that you're tucking that tailbone under, allowing those legs to float out to the sides of your mat, allowing the shoulders to melt down, tucking the chin into the chest. If you are placing an eye cover over your eyes, you can do that here. Allowing the breath to push you further down into the mat. I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale twice as long through the mouth, ridding that body of heat and energy we created during our practice. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale twice as long through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. Checking in with those muscles in between your eyebrows, in your eyelids, and in your jaw. Are you in any way clenching there? And if so, can you let it go? Allowing your body to be even heavier down into the mat. I'm going to leave you guys here in Shavasana. But before then, let's take a moment to look in on our intention we set at the beginning of our class. Seeing that intention in the here and in the now, take it with you. Work from it. Work with it. Quieting that busy, busy mind now, allowing your body just to be at peace. In this uncertain time, we have so much filling us, so much angst, so much that is out of our control. And our need for control places blame and anger in so many places that does not serve us. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale at your own rate, focus further into that intention and allow that intention to work through you completely for the rest of your savasana. I'm going to close out now by thanking you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are at. The light within me salutes and recognizes the light within you. Thank you so much, beautiful Lotus Petal community. We love you. We can't wait to see you back in the studio soon. Bye, everyone.